Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a video that was highly requested by my Facebook friends about um, what I do for my hair. Um, now I've already filmed this before but it was a total disaster so I totally scrapped it and I'm going to start all over with it and it actually works out nice because what I have going on right now is a little bit closer to what I was looking for in the end but I know I had a lot of people that have, were interested in how I got my hair so light and having my hair so light and going to this is actually really important so I figured I would um, you know give a little bit of information um, now I am a licensed cosmetologist so I have gone through you know the entire schooling and background if I throw some jargon out there I really apologize if I lose anybody but um really when it comes to this type of thing is, is knowing your hair is really what it comes down to. Um, and this is a process. This is not something that you do all in one step. You don't just go from jet black hair to a platinum blonde in one sitting. It just is not going to happen. And even with the Olaplex that they have, it's still just not good for your hair to do it. So you have to be accepting that this is going to be a process and you need to be patient with it. So. Now I normally have a, a level of natural level of five, so that's right in the middle of between the lightest, you know, one of the lightest lights and then the darkest dark. So I'm right dead in the middle. Some people are super dark. Sorry, I wanted to move that real quick. Okay. <clears throat> um. So for me, it wasn't too much of a process. The problem with my hair is I pull really yellow whenever I'm trying to go blonde with my hair. So it's definitely its own annoyance. When it comes to doing my hair, um, or any doing anyone's hair, it's really about knowing it. So if you're a person that is going to be doing someone's hair, if you're doing your own hair, a lot of times I do suggest doing um, a strand test. I know that's something that you learn just when you're in school, but you know what, it really is important and it lets you know what's going on with your hair. If you have a lot of box color or even professional color that's on your hair, you have to remember that when you are lifting your hair to a blonde, it needs to go through that color before it's actually going to get to your hair strand to start doing the lifting process. So keep that in mind and just understand that the entire process is a process and it might take a little bit. So the thing that I use for my um, for the lifting part is the Paul Mitchell Lighten Up. Um, this is their new cream based formula. They do have a powder, but I liked this one just because I felt like it was less messy and less annoying. And so I gave it a try. It's got the little measurements on the side, so that makes it nice and easy as well. And then you just use the developer just like anything else. Now, the key to trying to get the best blonde that you can um, is using a lower developer. I do not suggest that anyone ever go higher than a 30 when it comes to the blonde in their hair. Um, I think that all it's going to do is blow your hair strands out and, and give you sores on your head. So there's just no need to go any higher than that. If at all possible and you have the time and the patience, going with a 20 is the best way to go. It just, yes it takes a little bit longer, but it gives you such a better blonde and it's not as harsh in your head. And if you really, really needed to or wanted to, you could go into a second process, but again, it's just going to take a little bit longer. I would not go any higher than 30. 40 is completely unnecessary. I don't think it helps anybody. Um, but that's what I suggest. If you use a lifter that has a toner in it, then that's awesome too. I just haven't found a toner that I want. I haven't found a lifting system that I want yet that has the toner in it that I, that I have liked yet or that I want to play around with. I'm kind of a, if it's not broken, don't fix it kind of thing. And plus, I like doing my toning process after I lift my hair. So after I go through, you know, the blonde, I, I wash everything out, I go in with a toner. And I did go to a Redken school, so I do like to use the Redken Shades EQ. Um, but I've tried other ones, and I'm really not a fan, actually. Um, I've been trying to use the Paul Mitchell because it is closer. I can get it. It's more easily accessible for me. So I was using the Paul Mitchell Shines, but I don't like the way that they turn out on my hair. Um, I've tried using the V. I've had the BV. I've even had, I think they had one that was like a titanium-ish one or something, and I don't like any of them. I feel like they scared me because they would process yellow, and they didn't they didn't go as cool toned as I wanted them to do. They were very warm toned, and I thought that was unusual. So the ones that I like to use from the Redken line is the 09V, which is what I have here. 
Um, this is a this is a level nine, which is the lightest level that they have in violet. Um, I also like I specifically like using the O9T, which is just the titanium. I feel like it's just the perfect mix of blue and and violet. To tell you the truth, but I could be wrong. And then the O9B is another one that you can get. I think that all three of those are the best ones that you're going to do if you're looking for more of a cool tone, something like what I have here. Now I use, when I'm first starting off, because I like the cooler and a little bit darker, sometimes I'll just use some of the crystal clear which helps dilute this up. I'll use just a little bit of that with but still almost keeping it at like a nine and a half to a 10 if I can. So I'm really kind of keeping it in the same level that my hair is at that time, just because I understand that it's a process. Um, now what I did here with this back here, I accidentally grabbed the 09B versus the 09T. So what I ended up doing was taking three, three quarters parts of the 09B and one quarter part of the 09V and I put that together and I didn't use any no I didn't use any crystal clear and I just put it all on my head so that's what gave it this nice silver tone here and then what I do with this is super fun so this is our Pravana Chroma Silk it's the Vivids um, this is not something that you need to have a developer with it's it's honestly it's true to pigment what you see here is what you get it's great purple um, now you can mix this with the clear that they have which makes it it stays in your hair longer when it comes to the actual color it uses a lot more of the clear than it does the color if you're looking for it to dilute up to this kind of lighter color if you're looking for the true purple then by all means go crazy um, but what I like to do because I don't mind touching up my hair and I want to keep it as healthy as I can is I actually mix the Pravana color with a conditioner and kind of dilute it out. I know it looks super bright in here though, but it really isn't that bright. Um, but I dilute it in here and then I just take the brush and I apply it to the roots of my hair. I let it sit for like a half hour and I'll put maybe like another mask through the rest of my hair um, and just let it sit, it's conditioning mask. And then I rinse it out and um, I usually... I rinse it out really, make sure to rinse it out really, really good. You don't want to get it all over your pillow. Um, but I usually don't shampoo it out unless I'm being fancy for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, I just touch it up with that. And this last time I did it, my hair didn't lift as well. I don't know why. Um, so I'll have to keep an eye on it and find out what the problem was with that. But honestly, that's really all that I do with my hair. And the biggest thing is, is really just having patience. If you have super dark hair and you know you have like a lot of warmth, if you got that Native American background, if you've got you know if you got that Hispanic background, or even the um, I've noticed that in Asian Asian hair is does not lift very nice. It's a very long process. You are going to be yellow for a little while, and it's you have to just be patient with yourself. Maybe go with something that's a little more neutral for the time being until your hair is either healthy enough to go forward or, you know, your head is, is not hurting or in anything because you never should be in a lot of pain when you're lifting your hair. If you are, that's a problem. Um, but using something like a, you know, more of a neutral beige or more even like a beige is really nice to just do the in-between. And don't be self-conscious about your hair. I mean, if you're going to go out with like a pea head and lemonade and all sorts of things going on with your head, then sure, you can be a little self-conscious. But if you're just trying to be smart about it and, and, and take it in steps, then you're going to be fine and there's nothing to feel weird about and be worried about in any sort of way. Just take your time. It's hair. It will be there for a while unless you use actual bleach on your hair, which I know someone has done before and it was really awkward to talk to that person about it. I'm like, I probably shouldn't put bleach on your head. Just shouldn't do that. It's very strange. Anyways, so these are the things that I do with my hair. If you have any other questions when it comes to um, what products I use in my hair to, to style it, um, you definitely can. I just got my hair cut today and normally my stylist is Rolanda and she is at Salon Ananda in Oshkosh. But she wasn't feeling well, so I had Alana, Elena, Alana, 
Alana do it. Um, so I will go ahead and put both of their names down below. And if you are in the Oshkosh area and looking for someone to cut your hair, both of these girls are amazing. They're my absolute favorite and you will love them too. So I will go ahead and put that down there. I hope you guys are having a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.